Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Jason Park and behind me I have a 2006 AP2 Honda S2000. Now you all know, I've owned a 2001 AP1 S2000 but I never had the chance to drive and review the AP2. So stick around, it's Hyper 2 time. Hey guys, I'm Zach, and this is my 2006 AP2 S2000. Uh, this is actually my second one. I've uh, been in the S2000 game since uh, 2008, actually. And uh, what made me buy the first one was there was just nothing like it. Uh, I was cross shopping against 350Zs and other kind of comparable uh, Z4s, Boxsters, stuff like that. And uh, I drove them all, and nothing just nothing felt like the S2000. I was I was hooked from day one. Well, my first one was silver with the red interior, and uh, I was always envious of the, the red and, and the blue. And uh, after I sold my first one and was looking for another one, this one came up and it was perfect, and uh, I had to have the red. Uh, connected. Connected, pure, visceral. I uh, love just ripping it up through the mountains, not paying attention to anything else in the world, nothing else on your mind. Uh, I love that it, it demands so much focus and attention and uh, it's just uh, really involving to drive. <laughs> probably, probably ripping it up down the uh, PCH in California. Uh, the car actually came from California, so when I first got it after work, I would drive across the Golden Gate Bridge and drive down Mountain Tam and uh, hit the PCH for a little while and just do a quick loop and uh, it was always a beautiful run. Uh, check the history. It's, uh, there's a tight-knit community. Ask around about the car, find out if you could get in touch with some of the original owners. Make sure it's got all the maintenance paperwork and history. Check the VINs, make sure all the VINs match on the body. It's not been any significant accidents. But other than that, they're pretty rock solid, man. Change the oil, change the fluids, and you're good to go. Uh, mostly suspension work. It's got uh, Olin's dampers, sway bars, uh, cross bracing. It's got a front and rear big brake kit, stop text on the front, racing brake on the rear. Uh, it's got a tune, intake, exhaust, and uh, some cosmetic stuff on the outside, as you can see. And then uh, on the interior, I have a, a custom interior, uh, reupholstered all the seats and, and uh, door cards and whatnot, and also a uh, high fidelity audio system in there. I don't get to drive it enough. <laughs> now, some say it's a little limited on power. Um, you got you to rev it out. Uh, that, that doesn't really bother me too much. I don't know, man. I can't really pick anything that I don't like about it. That third gear punch? That third gear punch is crazy. All right, everybody. So we are about to test drive the AP2 Honda S2000. Let's get it. Ooh, I like that. Go ahead and roll this up. Probably gonna get some wind noise. And sorry, people, we have to record this on the cell phone. Currently, uh, we have our wide angle lens coming in, but we don't have it yet. So let's go ahead and take the S2000 for a drive. I can tell you right now, the AP2 already feels so smooth. The way he has this car set up, it still feels like, like it's fresh off the lot, and it has 87,600 miles on it super pristine condition uh that clutch is nice and tight gears are super smooth i can feel it just by going into first gear so 
so one of the things about the AP2 compared to the AP1 is that the red line is at 8,000 RPM compared to the AP1 that red line is at 9,000. Now, as far as refinement, the AP2 has more torque, I believe, than the AP1, and it's actually a better car than the AP1. But overall, the aesthetics, everything about the interior pretty much stays the same. The Honda S2000 is a really good driver-focused car. You got your steering wheel, and you have your AC, uh, and you have your volume knobs. That's it. There's no heated seats. There's no a thousand buttons to get the XM radio. The car is pretty much you, the machine, you're driving, and that's it. And that's why people love the Honda S2000 so much. Transmission is so smooth. I just have to say the transmission is so smooth. Every time I put it in the gear, it puts a smile on my face. He did a really good job with this car. He kept it. Uh, pretty much stock as far as power output. He does have a tune on it, so it's pushing about, you know, 240 wheel horsepower. The Honda S2000 doesn't need any more than that. The way that it's built, driver focus, high revving, adequate power, all of the power in this car is usable. <laughs> you gotta love that VTEC. The tune on this car allows VTEC to kick in at 4,000 RPM. So in the AP1, it would typically kick in around 55, 6,000 RPM, and from six to nine, you had that nice power boost. This feels so well balanced. The feeling is so visceral. The sound, right, the open top, everything about this car for a weekend warrior, for a track-focused car, for a mountain run, is absolutely perfect. I would not change a thing about this car, especially with the tune, the way that he has this car set up is absolutely perfect. If I were to suggest anything from being an S2000 AP1 owner to now driving the AP2, the only thing I would ever do is get a tune on it. That is literally the only thing you need. The seats hug you, it's a two-seater, there's no back seats, you're not gonna sit there and you know, take your friends for a ride. But if you're someone that's into the tuning community, there's a big aftermarket support system there. If you love Honda reliability, it doesn't get better than the Honda S2000. And if you want a pure driver's car, the Honda S2000 is where it's at. All right, Zach, so I got a question for you. So my brother here has never driven an S2000 before. And today he asked me, he said, hey man, do you, would you mind asking Zach if I could drive it behind the building one time? Zach, can he drive you behind the building one time? He, just <laughs> he never comes back. <laughs> he never comes back. I guarantee he's gonna be like, man, I love it. I love it, I'm in love. This is my favorite car right now. <laughs> now before you go, make sure you check out the trailer to Four Amigos. You know the S2000's in it. I'm a go-vise, I'm fuck on my mold. I'm a gangbus, I'm shy, I'm gone, I'm strong. Leo, get the door. Got it. Sometimes, you have to become the monster to save the one you love. Your mother's labs came back in. The cancer is spreading fast. She does need surgery. Um, without that payment, tomorrow she's going to be discharged. In two days, we're going to rob Chino. I mean, there's got to be another way. There is no other way, Leo. If we don't rob Chino right now, my mom is as good as dead. I'm a gold